We've had this crazy hard day at work. It actually went quite smooth and my team is amazing. But on the management level, there were many things happening and going back and forth and happening and going back and forth. And, and uh, in a situation that in a previous season would have been really bad and really um, fight inducing. And I don't know, I just, one of those things that the enemy will turn anything, anything he can to try to get us. And there was this one point when I looked at the other gal and I was like, is this on? Then I stopped. I said, this is by accident. This is not on purpose. They did not do this on purpose. You know, because sometimes things can seem so spiteful. It's like, why were these put in this way? You can't get to this. Stuff like that, that that's what the enemy does. He'll twist things. We have to know that even though we have those thoughts, if they're negative thoughts, kick them things out. Kick them out. Because that's what the enemy does, is to try to come and steal your good thoughts, steal your positive, steal your unity, steal your friendships, steal your relationships. And instead, you just keep being calm. You keep being considerate. You keep being kind. You keep being, you may have to breathe for a second, like, get your bearings (laughs) without letting anybody see you, because, man, my face, this is an open, stupid book, and, well, it's not stupid, I'm not a stupid book, but it's an open book, I mean, people can tell, especially if those people know me well, they can tell, I cannot hide emotions, I cannot hide thoughts, it seems like, especially those closest to me, and... So, it's not uncommon to feel things, to, uh, sorry, it has been a long day, to process those thoughts. It wouldn't have been that bad. I guess I worked 10 hours. But, uh, well, more than that. But anyway, just don't let the enemy twist your thinking. Um, the Bible says, take every thought captive. And y'all, we got to. We got to. And um, when you can say something, here's what I'm going to say. Iron truly sharpens iron. I have one person in my life that it seems like, unlike any other person, that I just keep realizing and keep realizing and keep realizing ways that I can improve. You know, and, and God showed me something today. He showed me the why. Um, I've had a note on my keyboard based in scripture that has been there, that I felt prompted by the Lord. It's been there for over a year. And as a reminder, and it's just in the form of a question, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. And it's very personal to me. And today, I was shown the why. As soon as I got back to my office after speaking, I I don't know why it's so hard to bridle this tongue. Why I, I want, and the times that I screw up, or it seems like I screw up, is because I want, because I want, to help so badly. I want so badly to make someone's life better. I want so badly to just like try and steer them in the direction that I know will be great for them. But people have to make their own decisions. And I have to keep my mouth shut. And I have to respect and honor them and encourage them and let them make said decisions and just back them up, you know. And too many times God gives me guidance. He tells me things and he'll say, don't discuss this. Because I, sometimes it's because I know. Today I found out a why and I said, 
the note suddenly made sense. Achoo! Achoo! Oh goodness, excuse me. Let's be slow to speak. Even if we're not angry. Even if we just... I don't know, I really came home beating myself up over this because and all afternoon, because I felt like I had hurt this person and I, you know, that's the absolute last thing I wanted to do was not be an encourager to this person. I, you know, I wanted to, I, above anything else, I want this person to be happy and I want to encourage them and be, you know, positive place in their life. I can just keep saying stuff and when you care the most it hurts the worst but I also in that very moment get a text from or a message from uh, someone that I do trust and um, I would say the timing is impeccable but the timing is impeccable and the words that were spoken to me, though they had no idea, they never do, although don't they? Um, God is so on top of everything we're doing. He knows our needs. He knows our situations. And always, he's right there with the message through someone. And I love that he loves us enough. That even in our failures, he loves us enough to send a messenger, to send a person, to send a note through something or some way or someone to reassure us. To, uh, no, he'll chasten us too. And uh, to point out things, but he also loves us enough to reassure us at every moment, at every moment, and to guide us on our path. He's a good, good God. He really is a but uh, that encouragement no encouragement which I have the time I'll just stop with that but God is good